Hello, hello. Happy Monday. How is everyone? I'm going to lean across and get the iPad going. Hopefully it works tonight. Whoops, wrong one. Well, I got a notification. So let's see if it pops up. I don't know why it's not showing up on my iPad. Hey everyone. Anybody else having weird things happen with their iPad? It doesn't even show. I got the notification that I was live. Hello, hello everyone. But I can't find my own live. Let's see if I go to, let's see. No, it won't let me go that way either. Well, this is just bizarre, 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 bizarre. So, hi, Carrie. Um, oh, wait, here we go. I got it. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Louise. It finally popped up. Yay. Boy, that was slow. But how is everyone tonight? For those of you who may be new, my name is Linda Anderson. I own Aqueous Silk, LLC. I'm a water marbling artist. And um, if you would be so kind as to sprinkle out this video, I would appreciate that. If you're not getting notifications when I go live, you can tap the upper right hand side of your, well, tap anywhere on the screen and the three dots will show up on the top of your screen and you can touch those and turn on your notifications. If you haven't followed my page yet, I would be ever so thankful if you would do that. Thank you, Colleen. I appreciate it. Colleen, I saw your message. Hold, let me show you something. I don't know if you were with us. Colleen suggested that when I do the um, coffee filters, she indicated maybe I should Mod Podge those to the back of a dessert plate or a, a small plate. And I think that's a great idea, except were you not watching when I did these? These are just the large clear plates from, um, hi Abby. They're just large clear glass plates and I marbled the back of them. So you can still use the front. There's nothing on the front that is um, not normal. So the, and then you can hand wash them. So these, I did these um, around Halloween because these are the Halloween colors. So I did a couple, I have a bunch more to do but I haven't prepped any. Yeah, so I can do it right on and not hide Hi, Joanne. How are you? So I can do it right on the plate. So those were fun to do. I'm going to go put this back in the other room. I bought some great big white chargers to set them on, and it looks so cool. I just... Uh, I just love doing that. Hi, Rebecca, welcome. So I have a mystery tonight. <clears throat> you remember the um, eight o'clock that I did for cross stitch last week? This has happened to me one other time, but I marbled it, it looked wonderful. I hung it up and let me show it to you now. <clears throat> There's just a little bit of shadow from where the um, 
marbling was, but it's all gone. I had it happen once before, and I I don't know why that one light blue disappears. I think it's the oddest thing ever. So we get to do this again tonight. And I have some new paper to test out. Just, I bought these this little um, pad of paper. And then I have a new fabric to try. And then I have one other thing that's kind of uh, interesting so that we're gonna try. So it should be a lot of fun tonight. I hope you enjoy it. Again, if you can sprinkle that out, I'd love it. If you um, are one who likes to send stars, go ahead and hit that star um, right below. And any stars I get, that money helps me then go and do giveaways. So don't feel obligated. It's only if you want to. It's not a big deal to me, but it always makes me excited when I get stars because I don't get them very often. But anyway, let me turn you down and we can get started. I hope everyone has had a wonderful Monday as far as Mondays go. So hold on, we're gonna move a little bit here. You're gonna see the ceiling. I'm gonna try to get this up high enough that you can really see what I'm doing. There's the ceiling. I have to wait for, oh, my iPad is doing the iPad interrupted thing or video interrupted there. That's pretty good. So we'll go with that. And I finally mixed up my, um, my, what's it called? Metallic silver. And I also, it, oh, you know what? I need to do one, one thing here. Whoops, that's not what I want. Yeah, it's not doing, it's being bizarre. I tell you, this this thing is gonna drive me crazy. Well, we're gonna give up. So we're just gonna clean this off. I was trying to sprinkle it out to my own page, but it only goes to my business page. And that's not where I want it wanted it out on my personal page so we're going to do the um cross stitch fabric first see if we can get it to work i mixed up in my other paint brand a light blue so we're going to try to recreate it i just love this white blue light blue i just love it it's so pretty and this one is going to be down here, the color, not up here. So um, we'll see how it does. So let me get a napkin. And let's go. I had one other thing I was going to marble tonight, but I need the big um, hat tank for it because it is dimensional. And I wanted to do this idea cloth or eight o'clock, so um, we'll do that next time. So tell me about your day. Did everyone have a wonderful Monday? Mine was a Monday. I always have adjustment uh, issues on Mondays because I spend the whole weekend being creative and then I have to go back to the office. That never makes me happy. But 
I was busy all day. The day did go quickly. All right. Can everybody hear me well? I don't know if I turned my phone all the way up. Let me check. There, is that better? Can you hear me better now? Oh yeah, this will be a good blue. I was worried that it was going to be too bright, but I think this will make a good background. Thank you, Carrie. I just want a little bit of color on the background for this. And I want it to stay this time. Just to add a little bit of color. So now we'll move the paint. And I'm not going to comb it. I'm just going to do exactly like I did last time. And just move the paint uh, freestyle. I think I have decided on the, the um, pattern I'm going to use. I have to look at the sizing to make sure it'll fit on the fabric that I'm using. I have a couple in mind, but they're, my grandmother loved uh, lilacs, and she also loved roses. And I did find a pattern that is both lilacs and roses. So if it fits on my piece of cloth, I didn't stop to look at that. I was just, you know, favoriting things, patterns that I thought I might like. I think that is what I want to do. So on my way home tonight, it was in the 30s again today, and... Sorry, that was my daughter calling me. She knows I'm live, too. I think it was an accident. But, okay, so here we go again with this cloth. We have just a little bit of the shadow of the old one. I, you have to look very carefully to see it. So I'm just going to... Put this back down on the surface. I'm gonna wait. These edge pieces are not wet and I wanna make sure the whole piece is marbled. All right, let's see how we did. So there we go. This is round two, just a very subtle blue. And I think that'll be very pretty with um, roses and lilacs. I may have to just go with like a lilac stem. We'll see how if my fabric, hi Marina, no earrings tonight. Thank you, Abby. Um, and this one should stay. This is not the one that washes out, so I should not have any issues with this paint disappearing. I have made a pillow cover before and used um, the paint that disappears. And um, I went in to pull it down off the um, drying rod and the, only the darker one was there. And I'm like, what the heck? So... It has happened before, but then again, I've used it since and it did fine. So who the heck knows? So let me go grab a baggie. Oh, here, I have one right here. So I'll just let this dry and then I'll press it just like I do any cloth that I marble and then it will be ready to go. You can't hear me? <laughs> no earrings tonight. Let me turn it and make sure. Mine's all the way up. So I don't know why you can't hear me. Sorry for the hand in the face there. 
My volume is all the way up. Sorry about that. So there we go. I did that cloth a second time. And uh, we'll see how it, it turns out this time. The other one, I wondered if it might disappear because the last time I used it and it disappeared, that paint, it smelled kind of... Uh, like a rotten egg smell when I took it to hang it up. And usually it doesn't do that. So I was wondering if I might have an issue because it smelled like that the last time. But then I've used it. Oh, I don't know why. I wonder if it's just the internet. I see it's freezing on my iPad. Yeah, it's all the way up. So I don't know what's going on with Facebook. I re uninstalled and reinstalled uh, the Facebook app on my iPad. And it was um, playing videos just fine. No, I am on uh, my phone. I generally never go live with my iPad because it freezes all the time. So I'm just getting all the paint off the surface. And if you're new, please let me know um, where you're watching from. This is acrylic paint. I float on the water, on the surface of the water. And then I move the paint around and create a design. Yeah, the... The sound should be good. It's all the way up on my phone and I know it's working because I was just talking to my daughter on my way home from work and she could hear me okay. So it must be a Facebook issue. Just wanna get these bubbles out of here. I'll try to speak up a little loudly Feels like I'm shouting. All right, so now I am going to block off part of this. I have to see what's gonna be better for your viewing. I have to wait for the screen to catch up with me. Now let's just use this front part. So I don't need the whole tank for the next couple pieces that I'm going to marble. So I'm just putting down some newsprint to kind of just act as a barrier so I don't waste a ton of paint. All right, there we go get the trash can out of the way so now this piece I am going to do in kind of spring colors spring pastel colors I already have them selected so I have um, as I've mentioned before the attorney that I work with is having her first baby. So I'm going to be experimenting here with some fabric. Does anybody, does anybody sew? And if so, do you know what um, double gauze is? I've never used it before. And I've been looking for some around uh, locally and no one has any. Now granted, I did not go to um, Joann's. That's like my least favorite place to go. Sorry, I just pulled a whole huge chunk of paint out of the lid. Now it should close off better. There we go. So, um, I 
I was wanting some double gauze. They say that's really great for um, swaddling blankets and uh, receiving blankets. And one of the babies will be born in the spring and then one in the summer. I thought I opened all these. Apparently I did not open this one. The, all the caps, they come, the, the hole is not open when I, there we go. So I've just bought some regular gauze to try. I have never marbled gauze. No, I haven't looked. I have several online resources, but I was hoping that since I don't know what it is exactly, I was truly hoping to... Um, to be able to touch it and feel it and see what it's like. I believe I'm going to have to um, order my samples online, but I thought I'd go ahead and try this. This is just a regular gauze that I bought at Hobby Lobby. I walked into the quilt store on Friday and as, was asking there, I thought for sure they'd have it. And they kind of looked at me like I had three heads, so. Needless to say, that didn't go well. Hi, Ramona. How are you? The, the double gauze, Carrie? I, do, I was just hoping to see what it's like. I don't know. I've never used it, so I don't know what, it, what it's all about. Sorry, I was dig just digging more paint out of the lid. So I have a small piece of regular gauze here. I think it's really cute and it may work for what I want. Because it's just like a lightweight, um, it will be a lightweight little, you know, receiving blanket. Not I've made them before out of flannel, but I don't know in the summertime if that's what, you, you know, they need. They get too hot, just like everybody else. So I have purple, yellow, pink, and then green, and then I'm gonna add some of that blue, and I may come back with the purple again. Knowing me, I should have done the, the yellow first, because I'm not a fan of yellow. It does look pretty in some designs, I will admit that. So I just bought a piece of, uh, you know, like a quarter of a yard of the um, the gauze from Hobby Lobby and then cut it a piece of it off. I have a longer piece. I'm sure I can come up with something to do with those little swatch that I have. All right. So there we go. I have all those pastels in there. Very... Um, very springy looking. So I am going to comb this pattern. So I always start when I'm gonna comb it just by a back and forth. Yeah, but anyway, it was trying to snow on my way home. I keep hoping I'm gonna wake up to, you know, like a foot or so of snow and just be snowed in keep waiting to be snowed in since I've moved back to Idaho. Has not happened though. Let me get a big piece of paper towel. There we go. Fun little design. I haven't wiggled back and forth in a while. 
some of my pins are still wanting to fall out. I need to get a stronger glue. I glued them with, oh, I don't even remember. I think I'm gonna have to use some E6000 and some hot glue combined. All right. So here's my little piece of gauze. It has a cute little square pattern in it. Can you see that? Yeah, you can kind of see it on there. Now this is weird. The moisture is not coming up through this, this fabric. Like the other, when I put the eight o'clock down, when I touched the back of it, it was wet. And if I'm missing your comments, I am so sorry. I will go back and look. I think that is just the strangest thing. It's not allowing it to come through. Hello, Gloria. So I have no idea what we're gonna get when I lift this up. Which is exactly why I wanted to experiment with this, this little piece. Oh, look at that. Can you see this right here? It looks like it doesn't want to take the paint. So I'm gonna put it in, can you see that? The little bubbles right there, where the, it's bubbling up. And then there's also right here at the edge, look at that. So I, let's see what happens when I put it in the water. I'm unfurling it from, I rinsed it, and then um, I'm wondering that because I did not uh, wash it first. So I may wash another piece of it. I didn't want to because the edges, this is a, such an open weave, the edges are going to be a nightmare. You can see the, um, hi Barbara, you can see the, um, from West Virginia, great. It's already raveling all over the place, and I've treated this pretty gently. But the way it marbled this time, I'm not pleased with it. So I'm going to, um, I'll put this in a bag. And I am going to wash the other piece that I have of that that was gauze that did not really take the paint very well. So I'm, and you couldn't, you could not see the, um, it didn't get wet. Usually when I put cloth down, it gets wet to touch on the back side. And that did not happen. So that's pretty weird. So there must be something on it until, but it's been wet. So I don't know, mysteries. What you never run out of as a marbling artist. There's always a mystery of some sort. Okay, I'm just picking up this newsprint. Now I want to get all of that out of there. Let me dry my hands. Wasn't that the weirdest thing? You'd think such a lightweight fabric would really grab the paint and grab, make it, you know, real, very wet. So I truly believe there must be some sort of a coating. Oh, 
on that fabric. Generally, I not always, but generally I will wash fabric. If I try to do t-shirts or something like that, I will wash them first. Yes, this is water. It has a little bit of seaweed powder in it just to thicken it a little bit but it is water and I float the paint right on the top. So now I'm gonna test, um, I'm gonna bar, bar this off again. And now I'm gonna test a new paper. You know, I have the one I, that I like, it's that rice paper, but I'm always open for um, testing new papers. And I block this off only to just keep the paint in one area. That one's kind of big, but I'll, that's all right. So I bought a little pad. And these pieces of paper are just tiny for me to experiment with. And the, they were on sale, the paints were on, or the uh, paper was on sale, so I felt pretty good about getting some to try. So I'm gonna try one. Oh, I have some new paints to try too. Let's try this new paint with one of the sheets. So I'm gonna block off another piece because I'm only gonna do one here. I don't know if I should do that though. I probably better not. I will, um, I have some other paper done that I'll experiment with the new paint. But let's use paint that I know how it behaves and see what happens. So I always put down a white base first because this is about surface tension. The more paint you have on the surface, the more intense your colors become. Obviously the pastels are gonna stay pastel. And this is acrylic paint that's just dropping onto the surface. So these are the same colors that I used on the, I'm not going to use all of them, but that I used on the uh, gauze fabric. Okay. There we go. Pink, purple, and yellow. And then we'll just freestyle this. And this is just, you move your paint however you want. When you like the way it looks, you can stop. The only rule is that you don't wanna to go too fast and create a bubble. And I try very hard to keep my um, skewer off the bottom of the uh, tank. It just makes for a smoother design if it doesn't jerk in there anywhere when it hits the bottom. This is the most fun. This is my favorite part. And this is called water marbling. Everybody looks at it and says, oh, it's um, hydro dipping. Same kind of concept, but this was an art form that was uh, created in the uh, 15th century. So it's been around a long time and this is how they did it. They didn't use, uh, obviously they didn't use acrylic paint, but they did uh, use seaweed powder so here, let's see what this does. The only thing I can say about this paper is it's kind of an ecru. It's not a white white. 
But let's see how it prints. And I'm going to use two bulk pieces. See how it's curling up? So let's see how it rinses. Well, it didn't print too bad. It does want to curl up though, look at that. You can see that purple kind of is running on the edges. That spot, the spot that's running, it does rinse off. Yeah, it's okay. I'm not a huge fan of it. I don't like the way it prints. So let's clean this off and then I'll use my new paints and I'll use a piece of my normal paper. Let's see. And I just place the newsprint right down on the surface and it pulls that paint right off. I still have not gone to buy any blank newsprint. I never think about it when I am at the art store. And I do have to go either run over to the art store on my lunch hour, and it's quite a distance from my office. So depending on traffic, I may not make it back in time during my lunch hour. Or go on a Saturday. And I try not to go back into Boise um, on the weekends if I don't have to. Every now and then we will. All right. There we go. Dry my hands can't be touching um, any paper with wet hands because once the item is wet, it will not marble. Has to be dry. I'm just trying to uh, pop these bubbles. Have a little bit of fuzz in there. I have a feeling that's a little string from the gauze. All right, we'll use the whole tank this time because I have a couple pieces of, of uh, paper over there already prepped. Oops, 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 let me take that off. I was gonna try my new paint, I all forgot. So let me get that off of there. So does anyone have anything fun going on this week? I have just work. And then I count the hours till I can come home and be creative. I usually take something with me to the office for lunchtime. All right, and there we go. So now let's grab the new paints. Oh, thank you. What did you want me to try? So what I can see already, that this could be just a smidge thinner. I have to mix all of my paints and all the paints behave differently. 
on the water. So let me give that just a minute to disperse. If you notice, the other white dispersed right away. There was no like little um, centers in the drops. And there's a bubble. There we go. All right, so let's see how we did. And usually when I do red, I do it right after the white because red needs to be pushed or it looks like it's pink. So let's see how I did with this one. And red likes to run as well. So see the red is not spreading out nearly as much as the white did. See, they are growing, but it's taking a minute. And I don't know if you can see it on screen, but there's a little center in all of these. So that means both of those need a little bit more mixing. They sound like they're pretty well mixed. Usually, I'll, I'll put out a tray and I'll test them. But I didn't do that yesterday. I can usually tell by the sound how it shakes in the bottle. But see how long it's taking these to disperse? And when I put a paper down on there, that excess paint that's in the center is just going to blob onto the paper. So let's see how I did with the blue. And again, it's still pretty thick. And when you marble, you can drop one color right on top of the other. They will never blend. Like this won't make purple. And this is, like I said, this is a new paint to try. It's the same brand, but a different, um, I don't know, a different quality. I have used this brand before. But see, that's just not spreading out very much at all. Let me get... Here, this is the same brand, but a different line, I guess that's what I say, want to say, of this paint. Let's see if they float together. Usually you have to stay within the parameters of the brand, or one will sink if you drop it on top of another. But let's see what happens here. No, yeah, it works here. So that's interesting. I find that very interesting that so the the core the core color or the core ingredients work okay. Okay, and here's a blue. So this is just the different mixture in the same. There we go. Look at that. See, this is the way it's supposed to behave. So I have this mixed correctly and the other ones are not the white did okay but the red and the blue I need to actually work with all of them all right so there we have some color now the blues are different color but let's see how this prints oh I forgot I wanted to try some of the silver but that's not going to work because it's a different brand. We'll do it next time. And um, 
the metallics will only work on paper, leather, wood. They will not work on cloth. And so I work mostly on cloth and I always forget about the metallics. I have some leather cuff bracelets in my shop right now. Um, whoops, I keep dragging it on the bottom. You see where, how that jiggles when I touch the bottom? But the cuff bracelets, and two of them have a beautiful metallic gold on them. All right, let me grab my comb again. This is my very favorite pattern to do. And I love the way that other blue just kind of stayed in dots. I usually try, when I'm trying things that are new, I always like to do it in a, a red, white, and blue. That's my one of my favorite um, R&D color combinations. It's a little bit more difficult in marbling because red is very difficult to work with. So this is the lighter um, rice paper. This is not my favorite. This is a lighter one, but I do use it quite a bit. And now on this end, just add a little bit of swirl to it. This paper, one side is smooth and the other has some texture. And for reasons nobody knows, I like to use the textured side. See how that takes that paint so wonderfully? This will be the last one. Now I'm gonna have to go and grab my, uh, my board. Let's pull this paper out of here and see what we get. So see how that blue is just those little droplets of blue. They were really um, thick. So that's what's causing that uh, running, the look of it running. So I'm gonna rinse it and let's see what we get. And to rinse it, I just have a measuring cup here and I just drizzle some, some regular water right over the top of it. All right, so this is just a mess. I'll show you. It just continues to run. Usually the excess will rinse off, but look at this. Whoops, sorry. It's just a mess. So that's what you get. And look, if can you see, let me point. Is my things, can you see right there? There's a bunch of blue right there. So that blue did not, I'm just gonna discard this. So let's how, see how it did on the rice paper. Again, look at how that blue just globbed up. Now the rest of it looks really good. So let's see how this one rinses.
So this one is doing better. Those little uh, droplets of blue really want to run. So let me show you this one. Let me get the towel that's already full of paint. So see how much better this paper did than the other one? And can you see the um, where it is still running? I'll run, rinse this again in the bathtub and see if I can get some of that off and salvage, salvage this sheet. Be right back. So the purpose of rinsing is just to get any of the, the um, size and excess paint off of the paper. So that, that blue that you see smearing all over right there, you rinse that off. And that's simply because it did not spread out. It's condensed in one area. So these paints may work yet if they're mixed properly. I'm just going to have to thin them down quite a bit more. They sounded pretty good when I was mixing them. All right, let me go hang this one. They are really pretty. Let's see, one more right here. I knew the blue was going to be an issue because after I even moved the um, paint, they were still dots of the blue. That means it's way too thick. No, this one's just a mess. Please, I don't know if I can salvage this one. It's trying to escape into the rinse bucket, sliding right off the board. So let me go in and hang this one up and we'll clean this mess. Let's get this cleaned up and then I have something new and fun to try. I saw um, this item, uh, they were using it for something else and I, in my head, go, wait a minute, I wonder what happens if I try to marble it. So we're gonna find out in just a second.
Now you're probably going to see some of that blue hang under the water when I get done here. But as long as it's under the water, it's okay. I have a big area rug right where I'm stepping and I can tell that I've dripped some of the water off my, hey Shelly, you're not late. There's always replay. I've been testing new paints today, new paper. And I'm about ready to try a new item. So you got here just in time. And I was just patting out, there was a bubble right here. I could see it, you can still see there's a little one right there. Trying to get the bubbles out from under because any place the paper doesn't touch, the paint will remain. All right. Put that aside. Okay. Now, get my hands dry, and I'm going to put down another piece of paper because what I'm about to use is small. So I definitely don't need a huge area. Yeah, I'm just really not a fan of that paper that I experimented with. Okay, so we will pop these bubbles. I'm trying to figure out which area would be better for me to do this in since it's small okay so on over here on the left all right so now I get to pick my colors but look look what I have look at that fluorescent pink I'm not using this tonight and then this is the metallic silver neither one of those I'm using tonight I'm going to stay with my uh, tried and true paints. I just don't know what colors I want to use. So let's use yellow and orange and white. Okay, hey, here we go. And I have two of these to test. I'll show you what they are in a minute. But I don't know, we'll see if I can get them both on one print. Now what I'm seeing, there's blue in this tank. You can see it push right out of the way. The, the white just pushed that blue And you know what I think I'm going to use? See that blue right there? I'm going to pick that right up and put it in the trash. So now we'll add some more white. This is just our base. I go through lots and lots of white paint. So I generally, sometimes I'll start with a different color, but for the most part, I, I do like to start with white. There's some yellow. Oh, and I'll have to show you the way the vinyl, the printable 
vinyl that I marbled last week. I'll show you those pieces before we leave. And it is not iron-on. I was reading the package. It is um, permanent vinyl. So I need to... Uh, I have one idea of what I'm going to put, put it on. And this is just a little bit brighter orange, I mean yellow. You know my colors. So this other yellow was a little more uh, softer. All right, so let's move this around and this is just gonna be random. That yellow looks very green on the surface, but it is yellow. These two colors like to behave. That's why I'm using them, especially on a new surface. All right. So let me go get the item. So these are four inch acrylic rounds. I didn't know what size, I just bought four inch. And you could use it as an ornament. The other side still has a protective covering on it, but so I can go ahead and, and put this right in. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Maramona. We're hunting here, hunting for a good print. So I'm going to just place this down. I have to be careful because if I just plop it right down, it might get some bubbles under it. So I kind of have to put it at an angle. Okay, it's going to float. So let me go get the other one. But I figured since I do glass and that works, this should work, right? And plastic. Hello, Christine. All right, let's see what we get. And you can see right here a little bit of what's on the back, but there's a coating over the back, so it will, um, it will not be there. It'll be coming off. I'm just trying to figure out how to put it down. And I think I'll let it sit a little bit and then I might try very gentle rinse, very gentle rinse. And then I could easily put vinyl on there or something and uh, I could glitter the back. It could be really pretty. My imagination can go wild. So something worked tonight. I'm so excited. All right, let's uh let's add a little bit more color in here and I have two more pieces of paper, so I might as well marble those. Generally, I don't like to do this, put color in after I've already printed, but we're going to do it tonight. That's kind of exciting that that worked, though. And sometimes if I let it dry just a little bit and then gently rinse it, it takes off any excess paint that's on the surface. Okay, so let's move these so 
I wish you could all experience the process of moving this paint. It's so wonderful. All right, let's grab these two sheets of paper. Again, I like to use the textured side. A lot of people print on the smooth side. So it's absolutely um, pref personal preference. See, I don't like that spot right there. So I will avoid that one. Let me go get the... Uh, Now you can compare the way this will come out to the way the other one came out. Look how much cleaner that came off the tank. That's what it's supposed to happen. like I'm getting water everywhere tonight. Just dribbled it across my foot. Okay. And you might see some teal, but it's on the board. It's not on the paper. look really nice as well. They don't seem to be puddling up with paint or anything. So I was going to show you, this is one piece of the printed or the printable vinyl. You can see I had a couple bubbles. There's three little bubble spots on this one. But I can work around that. And then this was the other one. Now this red wanted to run a little bit and it rinsed off a little bit, but it kind of gives it just a distressed feeling. So I'm not overly concerned about it. So I wasn't as happy with this one as I was the blue and yellow. This one printed much better. So I can't wait to use it. But, okay, coming back up. If I can get around here. Oh, I've got water everywhere. I forgot to plug my phone in. Let me wipe up this water real quick. It's getting awfully close to those electrical cords. So, okay, now we're going to come back up. can't see where it's going so let's hope it's okay all right yes 
yes it did Melanie thank you for being here so I hope you enjoyed that tonight I know um, the paint didn't work out like I thought but I I will try again I will keep mixing it until I see if I can get it to float um, I may or may not like the paint once I get it floating but it's I always like to try new paints and see what I think I have my standard paints that I use always I know that they will work sometimes I don't mix them quite right but so I appreciate each and every one of you being here tonight I hope you enjoyed it I hope you have fun if you ever have an idea of something that I can marble let me know post it on my page and I'll tell you if I think I can do it or we'll give it a go so um, have a wonderful week I appreciate your time um, I, if you sprinkle out the video I think that's wonderful I also appreciate that and then every Monday night I'm here at 7 p.m. so um, mountain time I'm in near Boise Idaho so thank you all have a wonderful week I'll talk to you later bye